Yard release. What's the deal, man? You already know it's your favorite hood still. We on the yard with Snow Rock. What's up, people? What's up? Got my boy Rasta here today. I was trying to, you know what I'm saying, you know, pick his brain and see if he could come up with something, you know what I'm saying, you know, a funny story. And then, you know what I'm saying, you know, I was thinking, uh, uh, we lost, you know what I'm saying, the homie a couple of years back. And uh, it, it was sad, you know what I'm saying, because he was, he was, he was a homie. He was special. He rode the little yellow bus a few times. But uh, well, you know who I'm talking about? A big homeboy, OG Pearl Earl. Uncle Bunk. <laughs> I was a big homie, man, on the real. Like, when I, he was one of the OGs that, like, laced me and, like, everything I knew in prison, like, sharp. Like, but, you know, see, me, I was always the type of young, young homie. I always pay homage. I always recognize that it's levels to this shit. Like, nigga, it, so when, when I pull up to wherever and I see an old nigga with three teeth in his mouth and getting love from niggas I respect, I know he's there for a reason. Do my history on him. Go introduce myself properly to him. That's how. That's how you know genuine bond is built from the beginning. But uh, yeah, Pearl was special, man. He was. I love that nigga, man. On everything. Pearl was a good dude, man. That dude, you know, what I'm saying, sat out there, and Pearl was a hustler. That's one thing I respected. You know what I mean? When you know now. Let's go back when you first hit the yard. You mm -hmm. remember when you first hit the yard? You got a you got a sack, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So all the homies, he thought his sack was special, but you know what I'm saying, all the homies got a sack. And I try to make sure, you know what I'm saying, you know, that, you know, all the homies was had what they needed to get them to, once they get on their feet, it's on you to take care of yourself. Yeah. Here's your starter kit. You don't need nothing. You ain't got to ask nobody for nothing. Okay, here, take off running. Yeah. So yeah. Pearl, Pearl was a hustler. I seen Pearl, you know what I'm saying? He had all kinds of, he worked, he got a volunteer job in the kitchen so that he could, you know what I'm saying, bring food out. But he's not just bringing food out and giving it to the homies. He's giving the, all the fruit he can get to the wine man. Oh, yeah. Smart. And then when the wine man gets done making wine, Pearl gets his two jugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had, and Pearl's at the table. Yeah, yeah. That nigga started getting drunk and had a dirty ass uh, coffee cup tumbler. This, <laughs> but yeah, Pearl. One thing I loved about Pearl, amongst many things, that nigga, uh, he kept my shit tight. As you can see, I still keep my shit tight to this day. Man, but Pearl, I told you, I'm saying I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna break out the board. You know, what I'm saying hit, hit hit them waves once or twice. Yeah. But, Pearl had the, the 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 stay calm with the razor. He'll bend back two forks and put the razor in, and it just shh, 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 it had your shit laid. Okay, hold on now. I told a story about this before when I was in uh, CRC, and uh, I was in CRC, and there was a there was a riot between the blacks and the Hispanics on the yard. I was in classification. Then. You know, they got the yard uh, settled down and, and, and the alarm uh, turned off. And then the other building took off. Mm -hmm. And then they had to run over there. And then once they got that situated, then the other building took off. Yeah, waves. And then, you know, I mean, you know, and these are people that are not in their cells. They have access, and that's the way it is. They have, I know the, the Hispanics, they, I've always admired their structure. Because they, when they say jump, they up in the air asking, when can we come back down? Yeah, yeah. You know. Blacks, not so much. But. but the <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? The moral of this, this story was I told uh, about the razor and the comb because that's how pe people uh, uh, cut hair. And in this, um, in this story about CMC, I'm talking about. When I'm watching the news after the riot, now all together it had to be like 50 people involved in all three of the different, yeah. you know, yeah. fights that happened. Yeah. So there's groups of people, but it's not that big and it's not that bad. But the news comes into the yard while we're on lockdown and, and there's like a lieutenant or a captain. I don't remember, but this is in San Luis Obispo on the, on the local news. So... Somebody can look this up. I don't know. I don't have the, the technology I right do. now. <laughs> but they can go look this up. And the, and the cop 
picks up one of the little razors and said, see, they take these razors and they melt it into a toothbrush and use it as a slashing weapon. Oh, shit. And it's comedy because that's BS. And the news says it was 200 people involved in the riot, which it was less than 50. <laughs> but that, that's their propaganda. So right back to the propaganda we were speaking on. You know what I mean? So back to Pearl. Back to Pearl. <laughs> Yeah, Pearl used to sit me down on that bench, put the little towel, clip me, whip out that comb, and shish, shish, shish me. That's and, his hustle. Yeah, that was his hustle. And he wanted a pouch of bugle. <laughs> Give me a pouch, a pouch, a pouch. But I remember because Pearl, like, if you see him, like, it's kind of hard to take him serious. He's an old nigga, like one of them old niggas with the three teeth, but can that's you, not it. It's his, his voice. voice. Hey, guys, I was... I, I, was <laughs> I can't... <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. This was funny because niggas always had jokes. They always called him Pearl, Pearl, Uncle Bun, Pearl Tun, Pearl Harbor. Pearl. So that nigga threw a meeting one time. He said, "Look, motherfuckers, my name is Pearl, not Pearl Earl, not Pearl Tun, not Pearl Harbor." Not <laughs> that nigga named like twelve different. <laughs> Pearl thing. I'm busting up because I can't, you know what I mean? But yeah, he, that was his way of like letting he gave niggas a, a tongue lash and this shit. But yeah, niggas stopped calling. I made sure they stopped calling them Pearl Harbor and all that shit after that. But remember the little nigga that Pearl gave his name to? Little Pearl? <laughs> that shit, that shit See, was that's funny. the thing. You had to bring that up. Yeah, I had to. That was funny. Okay, since you brought that up, what <laughs> happened to Little Pearl? A little pro got DP, man. He did. He everybody know the rules, man. You get out of line, you get whacked. So he got whacked. Okay, well this is this is this is a quick story. So yeah, you know I mean, you know, I'm gonna tell this one. So the dude had ran his mouth about hood business. So now, you know what I'm saying, he had to pay the piper, and I had told the other homie to take care of it, and you know what I'm saying, went around the yard trying to distract the police, you know. Messing with the homies, horse playing, trying to distract the police so he has time, but something else had happened, and now they're calling yard recall. Mm -hmm. So I, you know what I'm saying, come over to the table like, man, how come you ain't done it? And he's like, look, the sergeant's right there. And I see the sergeant's right there, and I'm like, damn. So then I'm watching the sergeant walk the opposite way. Mm -hmm. And it's like a perfect timing, so I take it upon myself to, you know, Asked the guy, hey, man, do you know you were wrong? Yeah. And he said, yeah. And I popped him in his mouth. <laughs> that, is, that is not what you said, do you know you was wrong. Say no. what you said. <laughs> I like, said, because he kind of ended up being famous. <laughs> See? <laughs> if, okay. you heard this okay. line, if you heard this line from Snow Rock on a prison yard, it wasn't good. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I said, cuz, you know you wrong. And he said, yeah. And I fired his mouth up. Boom. <laughs> yeah. He only gave him one. Or that's all it took. Yeah. That, I, I wasn't trying to, to, to smash a homie. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? You know, look, learn your lesson. You can't tell her business. You know, lives are on the line for this. You know what I mean? Time is on the line. It's it's cases. It's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, we, we was doing all types see, of shit, know, nigga. We was, doing a, <laughs> we was doing a little bit much. Yeah, on everything. Yeah. But yeah, old Pearl, man, I love Pearl. Pearl was my, my big homie. I know Pearl from the streets. I mm -hmm. know Pearl from at dad's, you mm -hmm. know, when, you know what I'm saying? You know, I seen Pearl sell a, 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 a lemon head out of a lemon head box. And then the car drove off and Pearl was gone. I'm out of here. <laughs> and then the car came right back. Yeah. Pearl hey, where is, <laughs> hey, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, Pearl used to hook up them cans of mackerel, too, for a nigga. Man. Yeah, he used to know how to cook a little bit. He had many hustles. Man, Pearl, man of many hats. Pearl man. was a hustler. Man of many hats. I love you, big homie. Rest in peace, Pearl. Rest in peace, Pearl. Rest in peace. All right. Well, that's a good one for the yard. I, uh, I think they're about to... Yeah, it's about that time. Yard recall. Take your ass back to the building.